for the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. In the recent past, for some of you Libras, it would have been important to remember to share your heart, to share love, and um, use it as an expression. And you probably did that by way of flirting. So I'm picking up that there was some flirtatious, flirtatious Libras in the recent past. And they extended their lighthearted energy in a very loving way to other people. And uh, this probably made you feel good about yourself because you knew that um, you had what a lot of people don't have. You have the ability to brighten up someone else's day. You're probably a very charismatic person, have a lot of charisma, and you used it to your advantage, and you used it um, to make other people smile, to make other people happy, and you probably found your, your person that way. Uh, maybe you were the one who were being flirtatious. So that's what we have for the recent past. That's what some of you Libras did. Or that's probably what some of you Libras should have done if you were single and looking for someone special. So let's move on over. Why don't we take a look at the present time? We have the Ace of Wands and the King of Cups. Now the Ace of Wands, it's about a new beginning. Very positive. Could be more than one. Very positive new beginnings. Uh, they're in the area of many things, possibly. It could be romantic. It could be work, career. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that when the end of March or towards the end of March comes, things will be getting much, much better very soon uh, with this Ace of Wands. It's about upbeat, optimistic energy, and it's about being really hopeful, finally, for a change. Hopeful about your future with a really good cause. You could be feeling, like I said, energetic, really energetic and positive, or you're going to be feeling that way soon. Now is a good time to start something new with this Ace of Wands in your reading. When it talks about love and relationships, if there's some single Libras out there listening, this can indicate that there's a new relationship coming. It's coming in. So make sure you make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you if you're in the market for it. And if you're already committed, Libras, this card, it, it shows that the relationship could possibly undergo a new beginning. And it's going to rise to new levels of understanding each other. And you two will probably be really expressing yourselves in a great way. Now, this Ace of Wands is paired with the King of Cups. It's about a balanced male and feminine energy. This card, it holds all the positive qualities, masculine and feminine. And it often, it indicates an actual person in your life, an actual man. Um, when this does represent a live person, this person is very kind and loving. He could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Um, just know... With this card showing up in your reading, you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. Like I said, this King of Cups is about kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life no matter what your situation is. So make sure you nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. Um, yeah, that's a really good thing to get in a reading. When this King of Cups talks about love and relationships, it's very, very good news. 
um, if you're looking for love, you're some, some single Libras out there, when you get the King of Cups, this can indicate someone who's very balanced and loving they're coming in. And we just talked about someone coming in with the Ace of Wands. So this person will be balanced and very loving. You won't have to balance him out. You'll probably like him just the way he is. So he won't come with a lot of issues, put it that way. Now, this, um, the physical characters, like I said, with this uh, King of Cups is probably light hair, maybe light eyes, but it could go either way. That's just the character, physical characters of this King of Cups. So this is a very good card also. So for your present time, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, if some new beginning or new beginnings, or maybe a new person, a new love interest is, is coming in towards the end of March, it could go into April. And with this King of Cups uh, paired with this Ace of Wands, like I said, this is going to be a balance. It's going to be a balanced energy. Um, yeah, you won't have to. You won't have to do very much work with this person. You won't have to to um, to try to fix them like a lot of people do when they get into relationships. A lot of women say, oh, I'll just fix them when, when we hook up, if we get together. You won't have to do this with the King of Cups. He comes already balanced with a lot of love. And um, this is a good thing. So, um, very kind, compassion, compassionate person. And um, true love. There's no games being played. So, if this is a person coming to you... Uh, for your new beginning, wow, good luck to you, Libra. You probably won't need it because this is a, like I said, it's, it's, it's not a game playing type of person. And if it's a new beginning towards something else, then it could be more than one. Very positive new beginnings on more than one level. So that's what we have for the present time. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at the person that you're dealing with, how they see you. They see you as the Fool card and the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Fool card is about newness in one form or another. Um, it can be uh, purity. It indicates purity like the open-hearted energy of a child. You know, children, they're trusting, and this is what this card is about, just taking a leap and just trusting. Uh, this card, it's, it can be a, it's a positive card, but there can be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time to be sure where you're looking, where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do this without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. And I say this because you probably can't see the details of this picture, but this man, above how they see you, he's the fool. And he's um, just taking a leap of faith and thinking that the universe is going to take him to where he wants to be without any thought whatsoever, without any plan whatsoever. And he's about to walk off of a cliff. He doesn't know it. Because if he did know it, I don't think he would be smiling like he is. <laughs> and um, he's about to land right into the Pacific Ocean. Some type of ocean that's all blue water surrounding him. And it doesn't look like it's a lake. It's an ocean. So you got to be careful in the month of March towards the end. Um, if you're going to take, if you, if you feel like taking a leap, just make sure that... Um, uh, you watch where you're going. Yeah, so take this as a as a tip, as a warning for you, Libras. Now, when this fool card, when it talks about love and relationships, it indicates that you're probably, you're not 
wanting or ready for a commitment, at least not quite yet. There could be others pressing you for one now, but just know that there's nothing wrong with having fun. And this card is a great time for fun in your love life. And lots of fun seems to be in the making. And that's probably what you really want now. So, on the other hand, if you are single and you're looking for love, then make sure you don't let your desire for fun let you overlook the real thing should it come your way. Because we all know when you're wrapped up in having so much fun, it can be easy to overlook the possibilities in a new relationship. True love is not always instant. So you need to make sure that you're aware that it could be creeping up on you towards the end of March, maybe in April. Yeah, we talked about this. So there's a strong possibility that we talked about this new beginning with someone, with some loving person uh, in the present time. So just make sure you're not letting your fun make you miss out on something true and special and uh, this is how your person is seeing you they see you like this fool car they see you as a possible are you a traveler Libra you someone who's always on the go no uh, they see you as a traveler or a risk taker they also see you as someone who could possibly run off on them just take off when things are getting good, so that can be a little scary, especially if this person has their heart involved. So that's one of the ways that they see you. And um, they also see you like the Seven of Pentacles, though. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, when it comes to love and relationships, it's about things going really, really well, really well in the relationship. And um, it's about returns on investments. It could be a return of money coming to you because the pinnacles means coins, cash, uh, finance. Or it could mean returns on investments of time and effort and energy that you put into someone or a situation or a relationship. You'll be reaping what you've sown at this time with the Seven of Pentacles. And this is how they see you also. They see you as really wanting to make this connection work. So maybe you're just a traveler. Maybe you're someone whose job takes them away a lot. So maybe they, since they know that you really wanted to work with the Seven of Pentacles, um, they, they're probably not afraid that you're going to run off. If they're thinking that you're going to run off as this fool, um, they probably know that you're going to come back because with the Seven of Pentacles, they definitely know that you, you want to work on this connection. But you probably have moments where you just want to take a leap and just have a lot of fun. So that's what that could be. And um, the example of the Seven of Pentacles... And I say that they think you really want, want it to work is because just take a look at the picture. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, you see this lady, she's pouring water into her plant, into the soil of her plant. She wants it to grow. She wants it to, uh, to live. She wants it to continue. So she wants to take care of it and make sure it makes it. And that's how they see you. But like I said, they also see you as wanting to take a leap. Sometimes, maybe just sometimes. Now, if it was paired with a, a card that wasn't a, a good card, I would say that they see you as just wanting to just be free and not put in any effort into this connection. But they see you as wanting to put effort in this connection and that you probably have moments where you just want to be a risk taker, take a leap of faith on something, or just have fun. So once again, that's how they see you. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as Four of Pentacles and Knight of Cups. 
Now, the Four of Pentacles. It's about holding on to things, people, money, situations longer than it's healthy. Longer than it's realistic. As you can see, this man, he's on all fours. It look like, looks like his eyes are about to pop out of his head. So it's not healthy. It's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to. Or whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. So it's about anxiety and fear. And money, maybe clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. The key is to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. Now, when the Four of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, it's still about fear. It's about fear. You could be holding on too tight to a situation or a lover or someone is, a, is attempting to do this to you. Very unhealthy clinging. We all know true love allows for space between lovers and no matter what, no, no one can really control another person. So if you're single leavers and you get the four of pentacles and you think that you're ready for a relationship, just realize that you'll probably have to step outside of your comfort zone to make it happen. Yeah, because right now you're just uh, you're clinging in an unhealthy way to something. So this is how you see your person. You see them as clinging to this connection in a very unhealthy way. They're resistant to any type of change. They're very firm about you, Libras. Very firm. And they also, you also see them as this Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups, it's a good card. Very good card. Positive card to get in a reading when you ask about love. Uh, if you're single, once again, someone wants to come in and sweep you off your feet. And we already, we already talked about that. And so get ready, Libras. Single Libras. And if you're in a relationship, this Knight of Cups, it's about final com commitments. Could be marriage, engagement, proposals. So there, this card is about positive messages. Things that you want to hear. So you just have to be open to the exploration of your feelings. So this is how you see them also as this Knight of Cups. You see them as wanting to sweep you off your feet, possibly. Or you could see them as uh, wanting to give you a lot of romantic good news. Um, you see them as wanting to be romantic towards you. Offering you their cup of love. They're coming in. And that's how you see them. But they're clinging to you very firm. So they don't want to lose you. It's in a very unhealthy way though. Because uh, relationships do need space. So... They got a lot of love for you. They don't want to let you go out of their sight. You can probably sense this too. Because it's pretty strong in this, in this um, how you see them. You see them being very romantic towards you with the Knight of Cups. And, and very clingy. In an unhealthy way. Too firm. Too tight. Can you breathe, Libra? So, once again, that's how you see them. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look at why it's happening. We have the Eight of Wands, and it's paired with the Queen of Swords. Now, the Eight of Wands, it's about important information moving fast. Okay, moving really fast, as you can see, those wands going up in the air, and they're just, they're going, they're shooting up really fast, but the thing is that a lot of things could be up in the air when you get the Eight of Wands, 
but on the other hand, you could be tired of waiting. Because this card, it, it's showing that you, you're going to have to be patient. Uh, you probably have done all that you can do. Now decisions that you make, now decisions must be made by other people. So you've done whatever all you could do, and now it's just about waiting. So nothing seems to be moving ahead, except for those wands that are going up in the air. They're not coming down. So don't try to force things, because if you do, it will probably backfire on you. Speaking metaphorically, sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. So you put your best out there. Now you just have to wait. Wait until those wands turn around or either drop. Okay? But there's some important information moving fast. But it's coming down slow to you. <laughs> so you can't do anything about it. If you try to force it, you're gonna, it's going to backfire. When this Eight of Wands talks about love and relationships, you're probably feeling ready for a commitment, Libra. You're ready for one, but it doesn't seem to be forthcoming. Not yet. It's still up in the air. So again, I'm going to repeat this. Don't push someone before they're ready. Uh, you will not be able to get your needs met by force. So make sure you distract yourself if necessary. And when you do this, you're a person, you're a lover. They may be back to you before you know it, offering you the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter. So, this is one of the reasons why it's happening. And then, it's also happening because of Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, when it comes to love, the only caution is that to be aware of the impulse to be too forceful. You probably heard the saying, you get more bees with honey than you will with vinegar. Well, there's truth to this. Also with this Queen of Swords, there could be a mother or mother-like figure that may want to interfere in your relationship towards the end of March. Whether she means to do this or not, you're going to have to figure where your boundaries lie with this person and let her know. So, this Queen of Swords is, is one not to be trifled with. I'm sure you will put her in her place. Yep, it's a very strong, forceful energy, this Queen of Swords. And this could be your your mother or your mother-in-law who has this forceful energy. So, could be you or someone coming towards you. But since we're talking about why it's happening, and we have this Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So why this is all happening... Like I said, it's because um, someone wants something to happen, but it's not happening fast enough. It's they know it's they know it's it's coming, but it's just not coming fast enough. It's not coming to them fast enough. Uh, some important news, something that they want to hear. It's just not forthcoming yet. And because there's this Queen of Swords there, uh, someone could be um, too forceful about trying to get the other person to do what they want faster, whatever it is. Someone is probably being too pushy about it, too strong about it, and they need to stop that because it's going to backfire so only you know what it is you could be for example you could be pressing your person to um, who knows uh, let's forget the wedding and let's go jump the broom in Las Vegas let's do it right away <laughs> who's got time to wait Okay, and they're saying, yes, yes, we can do that, but they're not taking any action. Okay, so now you, you think you got to be forceful about it. You, get, you just got to nag, 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 
you gotta do things that's pushing this person and what the Zeta of Wands is saying is don't do that it's gonna backfire so just let it land when it's when it's gonna land because it's coming but you just have to wait so that was just an example so only you know what the situation is it, it could be a lot of different things so that's why it's all happening and eight of wands it's happening because of eight of wands and queen of swords so overall for this reading uh, you got some new you got a lot of new beginnings here for the present time someone's someone very loving and um, this king of cups that loving energy is there and um, but someone still wants to just have fun that's how they see you is just wanting to have fun but you still want it to grow you want to make sure you keep the person but you want to have fun at the same time and then someone is is clinging very unhealthy very unhealthy and there's really no need to do that because um, there's someone wanting to come bring their cup of love. They're charging in. But then someone thinks that it's not coming fast enough. So they're going to push and be forceful about, 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 about. 